In this video, we are going on with our series on complex numbers, and in this video, we'll focus on the modulus of a complex number. So let us say we have a complex number of z, and z is represented by a real part of a and an imaginary part of b. And in a previous video, we learned that we can plot the complex number on the complex plane, where the x-axis is replaced by the real value, and the y-axis is replaced by the imaginary value. So the real value would be a, and the imaginary value would be represented by b. For complex numbers, the modulus represents the length of the line formed between the origin and the point on the complex plane. So this line would be noted as the modulus of the complex number. Now you'd notice that this forms a right angle triangle where we have the length of one side of the triangle as A and the length of another side as B. Now to find the length or the modulus, we can use Pythagoras. So we know that the modulus would be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared as an application of Pythagoras. So let's look at a quick example. Let's say that we have our complex number as 3 minus 4i. And we want to find the modulus of this complex number. So the modulus would be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared where a is equal to 3 and b is equal to negative 4. So that will be a squared is 9 plus b squared, which is negative 4 squared, which is 16. And we take the square root of that. So that's the square root of 25. So this modulus is equal to 5. Now, an important thing to note is that the modulus is always a positive real value. Another word for the modulus would be the absolute value. So let us look at another example. Let us say that we are given z is equals to a half minus the square root of 3 over 2i. Now the a value is equals to a half and the b value is equals to negative the square root of 3 over 2. So the modulus for this complex number would be the square root of a squared, so that's a half squared, plus b squared, which is negative the square root of 3 over 2 squared. And if I simplify, I have the square root of a quarter plus 3 quarters, which adds up to the square root of 1, and that is equals to 1. So stating that point again, the modulus is always a positive real value. So that is how we find the modulus. It represents the length between the origin and the point on the complex plane.